Hi there, sign up Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really good. Thank you for joining me. Tapping into your spirit team, your spirit guides, your angels. Like and subscribe if you do end up liking this. And I'd love to have you back. Thank you for those returning. Also, I have readings that are $24. That is in the description box below. You kind of send me a message what you want to know and I ask the cards and that's how that works and then I send you a private link to a video so let's get into this Sagittarius which call for Sagittarius all can sign the side ten of pentacle uh, underlying issue <laughs> That's not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Okay. Oh, wow. That's the, what are the odds? Um, Aries, same spot. That card was in the same freaking spot. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so you have the Ten of Pentacle on the bottom. And then you have two kings for your outcome. That's interesting. The star is in your goal and destiny spot, your hopes, your wishes. So what's going on right now? Okay, I see the past has death, which is, well, you see a person in a cocoon here. There's there's major change, transformation going on. Um, could be that something ended, the closure closure to something but of course but it's marked by a transition transformation something like that let me get this shuffled for you and we'll pull from here too but your, your two kings for the outcome is very interesting I find that very interesting because it's almost like two Well, it's two energies that have, are, have mastered something. One has mastered finances. The other has mastered um, matters of the heart or is wanting to, like, compete for you in some way. Because they feel connected through the heart space. Three of Swords in the reverse is your challenge. It's about completely letting go or uh, burying a... Sometimes a breakup, a heartache, a sorrow, a loss. It's about putting it in the past. Two of Wands in the reverse is the issue. I feel like there's a need to clear the mind. There could be over, over analyzing going on. Um, and both of your pages are showing up here in the reverse. So it. It's almost like all these good things are happening, but where's the message? You know what I mean? But where are you getting, are you getting the message? Are you getting, so I don't know about that. In the environment, you've done the work to go within and you're absolutely ready for the fresh new start. Like you're ready for that new Ace of Cups. I'm going to say the same thing I said with Aries here with the Page of Cups in the reverse is, I really don't think that this is about being negative or pessimistic. I think you're just being realistic with yourself on what's going to work, what's a hopeful situation, and what just isn't even going to start. Ace of Swords, how you're feeling. You're armed with this sword, and you have an umbrella for the weather. So, you have that sword of truth. Hmm. The fear is that is the five of cups. Is this still okay? So these two cards still have some energy that's still lingering on from the past, an energy of uh, disappointment or regret or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, I see. So there's two kings. There's two. Um, it's more than an offer. It's more than an offer. It feels like one wants to commit totally on this financial. It could be two and one. Uh, one wants to commit to you on a very financial level. 
security, protection, security. The other one is kind of just really tapped into their emotions. And then I have the Knight of Cups. That's usually an unexpected offer or opportunity coming in. It's a cup of love. It's something being proposed to you. It's charming. There's something charming about this energy. So maybe it's saying like stop overthinking. Tell me about <clears throat> page of ones in the reverse. Oh, the trumpet is sounding. And the chariot in reverse. She could have felt like you were controlled or held back in some way. <clears throat> And then judgment is here to say, well, no, your spirit team has a path for you. There are, th there are uh, going to be like a plan. There's going to be a plan or steps to take. Could be waiting on this news. Tell me about the page of wands here. Yeah, it could be wait. That's what I say. Could be waiting on some good news at this time regarding this, regarding this offer or a new path or something to be proposed. Because it says waiting, suspended between two things. And I think that's exactly what that is. <clears throat> All right, in the environment, tell us more about what's going on in the environment for Sagittarius. Death card. So that's still, there's still something that is, maybe you're ready for the dawn, ready for the new day already. Yeah. You're ready for the dawn. You're ready for the new day already. You are the phoenix. You have the phoenix. The phoenix rising. It's transformation. Eternal soul. Renew. Emerge. Transmutation. Alchemy. That's what this death card is doing for you. Rising from the ashes. A rebirth is occurring. Something different. Something better than the past. Something that is, would, if it's a glow up, it's like a totally unrecognizable good glow up. Uh, the star, wow, okay, this, the star can be a lot of things. It is, um, to me, it resonates with me uh, the most as being something that you have um, almost like, it's like a dream from your childhood of something that you really want, you really wish to manifest, and, and it stays up there like in the stars, but it's not just up in their stars. It's, it's something where the stars become aligned, and when this pops up in your reading, then it's kind of like time for this manifestation. It's it, well, it's time for this phoenix rising. I think. <clears throat> yeah, it's time for a new beginning for you, baby. The the new phase. I think that's what it's talking about. Your new phase. So tell me about page of cups in the reverse. Investing in yourself. The. Um, Ace of Pentacle in the reverse. It's time to invest in yourself. Whoa. Yeah, there, there's the card that means what, what decision are you going to make? What seed are you going to plant to invest in yourself? And then having the courage to do that. So you know your truth. You're armed with information and this rebirth. So there we go with the power, the strength, and investing in yourself is going to pay off. Page of Pentacle, that's the seed that when planted, it's going to grow really big. Okay. Yeah. And so whatever you plant at this time, it says very likely at this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. I think you're feeling, wow, I think you're feeling really good. I feel, I feel like you know what kind of information that, um, that it is you need. You have the information, you're armed with the information, you're armed with your truth, and your truth involves you rising from the ashes and some sort of rebirth. So this is wealth, this is um, families maybe coming together, it's your established connections, it could be soul family, but it's generating prosperity enough to help everybody. Tell me about these two kings. I'm not going to go over the five of cups, we already know what that means. Oh. Okay, the four of ones in the reverse. And temperance in the reverse. So some of you all may be making a very big move where you're not pledging your allegiance to who you used to be pledging your allegiance to, if we can word it like that. Um, because feeling like this past person or past situation, it, 
Ace of Wands reversed out. It could be about work or it could be about passion that, that once was. It's how I'm taking it. But the divine timing is now. Like this is something is too off balance for you to even stay in it. And so you may be switching your allegiance. So you may have many people, kings here, um, offering, giving you an offer, wanting you to like come towards them. Whoa. Instead of, okay, goodness, <laughs> getting everything. Shooting star was on the wish granted. Um, wanting to offer you something, but like I said, it's bigger than just an offer. Generosity. Humane. Helpful. Wanting to be humane and helpful. Helping you overcome hardship and misfortune. And things are going to be restored in your life. Uh, the Phoenix Rising. You are going through an upgrade. And eventually, like, you're reaching this master level, which these two kings are mastery. So that they can either, either be you or they can be the person that um, that is coming into your life that you will be dealing with. Because it is in your outcome. So, master, discipline, working smart, focus, structure, teaching, Training, conquer, overcome, controlled, learning a skill in the flow. You have a commanding presence. Master. Mastery. All right, what does the Kipper deck want to say to us? You definitely could be upgrading in something with your career that ends up doing very well with all of these pinnacle, um, the pinnacle suggestions here. Sudden wealth, overcoming hardship, gaining sudden wealth. Well, that's the underlying issue anyway, too, but it's usually not so sudden. So something that's going to come together you just don't know this it's not there's a courtship to come in the future that you're absolutely not expecting and these people um male or female they're like mastery level maybe uh, overcoming hardships at generating wealth going from rags to riches poverty on the bottom possibly okay let's pull from angel number deck um and i'm gonna make this short for the weekend right and just to wrap it up real quick sagittarius i do have a new deck that's coming so i'm extremely excited about that 27 i am expressive nine it's your compassion your heart that makes you shine Talking about how your soul is happy when you're helping others. 21, this card speaks about being inspiring to others. Um, how you move, how you go about, how you upgrade, and how you transform with this phoenix for sure. And then 444, trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds. And trust you are where you need to be at the present moment. Know that you are protected. 444. So that's what I've got. I'm sending you so much love. Bye, Sagittarius.